If you were having a heart attack, you'd know it, right? Well, this local mom says, don't bet your life on it. I was told had I waited one more night and gone to sleep at home, I wouldn't have woken up. Scary, right? When you imagine what it would be like to suffer a heart attack, you probably think about the crushing chest pain, the elephant on the chest yeah. kind of feeling that you have. But that's not always the case. In reality, the symptoms are often not that obvious. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now with one survivor's story that everyone needs to hear. Absolutely, Karen and Jason. In fact, looking back, Kelly Sosnowski can clearly see her heart attack as it happened. But in the moment, she never imagined that that's what was going on. Her explanation of why could help save your life. I had a heart attack at the age of 41. It's a fact that Kelly Sosnowski still struggles to believe sometimes. I didn't have high blood pressure. I didn't have high cholesterol. I wasn't overweight. In hindsight, my symptoms probably started months in advance. I was retaining water, but I thought I was gaining a little bit of weight, and I didn't know why. It was a Thursday in July when something else caught her attention. And I took my daughter to softball practice, and I ran to the store really quick in between to do an errand. And when I was walking, I would get a sharp pain right here and in my upper back. And then I would, um, when I stopped, it would go away. And I was like, hmm, that's odd. Woke up the next morning on Friday and still didn't, like I still had that, that uncomfortable feeling in my chest and back, so I called my doctor. Her doctor said it sounded muscular, like she might have pulled something exercising. In hindsight, I actually said a little bit tongue in cheek, my chest is so tight that if I didn't know better, I'm, I'm having a heart attack. Her doctor suggested she ice her back, so she did, and it felt better. That Friday night, I um, went to bed and I started to feel a terrible pain in my chest. And I kept thinking, this is crazy. There's, you know, there's nothing they can do for this. It's muscular. When she woke up on Saturday. I was in the shower and I was washing my hair and when I lift my arms, the pain would flare up again. So she did what she says most moms would do and went to her son's baseball tournament. She felt terrible in the 95 degree heat. After a full day of baseball, my husband was like, you, you just don't look good, like, let's just go in. At the hospital, they discovered she was having a heart attack. There was a 95% blockage in her left anterior descending artery, a blockage sometimes referred to as the widow maker. Doctors opened up her artery and put in a stent. Her heart has made a full recovery. It took much longer to recover emotionally. I had every standard symptom that I've read in a textbook and I ignored them, and I was told had I waited one more night and gone to sleep at home, I wouldn't have woken up. She hopes sharing her experience will make others act faster. My symptoms did not feel anything like a heart attack would feel like. My arm pain, it was just a very heavy arm. My chest pain and my back pain, if you've ever lifted a box too heavy, you've had that pain. The pain is familiar that you have, but it's absolutely related to something else, and if you don't put the pieces together, it could cost you your life. She is forever grateful that her husband insisted she go to the emergency room. I'm very thankful that he was persistent in making me go. And I can't, um, I can't really stress enough that for loved ones to cue in on those things, um, especially for women, because we dismiss so many things. And it's very easy to say, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. And you know what? You always end up being fine. So it reinforces that I'll be fine this time. But the reality is, is there could be a time you're not fine. Better to be safe than sorry. If you don't feel good, go in because there is really nothing more important than that. Just because I went to baseball, I almost left my children without a mother. Yeah, now Kelly says even when she did get to the hospital and they asked her to rate her pain on a scale from 1 to 10, she said she had a 7. Looking back, she says it was probably really more like a 12 or 13. Now, fortunately, the doctors quickly realized she was much worse off than she would admit even to herself. Now, there is a big event for women's heart health coming up next week. The Detroit Go Red for Women Luncheon. It's Friday, February 21st at 10 a.m. at Little Caesars Arena. Governor Whitmer will be delivering the keynote address and our own Kimberly Gill will be the MC, and you can find the link to buy tickets on the health page at clickondetroit.com. Too often we want to try and tough it out in those situations. I like right. what yeah. you said about right. the pain being heavy, because I always thought it was a sharp pain. No. So it's, that's... Right, it's often a no. heaviness, and sometimes in women in particular, it's unusual. Sometimes it's just a heaviness, some nausea, something like that, and you just really have to pay attention to your own body and realize something's not right. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Doc. Now here's a look at what's cooking for tomorrow at 5.